<laughs> and what's up everybody it's your boy billy mac another reaction video to tiktok uh recipes uh i've already did one of these uh i like doing it so i'm doing a second one hopefully you all will like it um and i like i said i, I cook all the time i'm very into cooking and and recipe making and stuff like that so um i just give my expertise on some of these uh tiktok recipes and let's and i'll let you know if they're doable is it worth it you know i'll just give y'all my general um expertise on what i think they are so uh let's get into it uh and oh yeah i mute the videos because I don't know if there's copyright music and this, that, and other, and blah, blah, blah. I just, I don't want no problems. So let's go, let's go, let's go. All right. Sandwich, my favorite thing in the world, but I'm on keto, so I can't have any bread. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait, okay, so pearl onions, those are pearl onions. Looks like some type of herb. It looks like, it, I don't know what that is, maybe thyme? Time, olive oil, salt. Okay, yeah, can't go wrong with that. So, food processor, those are sun dried tomatoes, some more oil. Oh, okay, pesto, some type of salami. I uh, see the, okay. So, it looks like we got, that's either, that looks like salami. That looks like uh, either copa or sopraceta, sopraceta, something like that. Uh, oh, good, some type of cheese. Basil! Can't go wrong with that. Spring mitts. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. This, this is right up my alley, man. Oh! Let me tell y'all something. Let me tell y'all something. That right there, if, if, if I, listen, I'm on keto now. And, and based on the research, I, keto is not sustainable. So I'm probably going to stop keto in either October or November, depending on how I'm feeling. But let me tell you something. That right there is my kryptonite. That type of sandwich right there is straight up my kryptonite, and I miss it. Oh, my God, it was so good. My mouth is watering right now, and I, I, I'm I probably not going to eat. See, it's 11 a.m., probably not eating for another six to eight hours. Oh, uh, I, should, I should do these videos after I've eaten. Grape tomatoes, olive oil in a baking pan, baking dish. Glass baking dishes are the greatest. Just want to put that out there. Okay. Oh, yeah. That's either, that's got to be feta. I've seen this a million times. Yeah. Garlic, basil. Okay. Oh, okay. So pasta. Okay. That works. Can't go wrong with that. Damn. Okay. It's a big spoon for a big mouth. All right. Okay. Next recipe. Yeah, we know it's good. Easiest macaroni and cheese. Let's see. Okay. This is this is good. Milk and should be cream or half and half. Okay, heavy cream. All right, more cheese. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Listen, this is the key. This is how, the, this is why, this right here is why this is going to work. That's basically Velveeta or or the processed block cheese. He's saying American cheese, it's, it's Velveeta. That right there is what's going to make this work, okay? That is the key to this recipe. It's going to work. It's going to work. Butter and flour. 
Okay, so why are we adding butter and flour? Now, the flour is going to thicken it up, but you should have made the roux first, sir. Okay, yeah, salt and pepper. Mustard powder. I've never, I don't put mustard powder in my macaroni and cheese. And everybody likes it. So I don't understand what the point of mustard powder is, but I digress. Okay. So it's a shallow pan. Yeah, I mean, I don't understand what the point of the flour was. You didn't need the flour. You really didn't need all that butter either. That could have, that would have worked exactly as it is. Now, granted, you got to watch it, but that right there would have worked without any of that. You even, you even could have put an egg in there and it still would have worked. You would have had to temper the egg, but you could have put an egg in there and it would have worked. Uh, there were the, the flour made that the flour made no sense. Flour made no sense. You need the butter. You need some type of oil to keep everything from sticking to the pan and to keep everything nice and, um, velvety. Um, you could have used butter, olive oil, avocado oil. You could have used whatever oil you wanted. Um, Try to, for all my healthy people, try to stay away from the canola and the vegetable and the corn oil. Um, but, but it would have worked. That, that would, he didn't need the flour on that. Mini glazed though. Two ingredient mini glazed donut. Okay. I love to see this. How are, how are you going to do this without any yeast? Listen, that looks like flour. Oh, yogurt. That's got to be yogurt. That's got to be yogurt. If it's yogurt, then yeah, this will work. Let it rest. Let it rest till it's firm. Yep. I mean, yeah, I approve of this. It's, and then you just got to deep fry them. That's the worst part of baking. <laughs> that part right there. Mm-hmm. And then it's and then it's a shallow fry too. Oh, that didn't take any time. They're not gonna puff up like a regular donut. I wonder how chewy they are. And that's probably why um he or she doesn't fry them for long. And of course you make it glaze. Is that butter and vanilla and milk? A glaze with butter, vanilla, and milk. That's a new one. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I, I approve. I just wish I knew how chewy they were. If they're if they are Yeah. You can tell you can see they're spongy, but they're chewy. I guarantee you they're chewy. You're probably only gonna eat maybe in one sitting, unless you're just, I don't want to say the F word, unless you got an eating problem, I wouldn't eat no more than about four or five of those in one sitting. Sliced cucumber. Okay, okay, crab sticks, I like it. I like where this is going. Oh, yo, yo, I am doing that for keto. I am doing that for keto. Oh, my gosh, I just got so excited. Oh, my gosh, that is the perfect keto snack right there. I don't know what was in that sauce, but whatever, whatever it was, whatever that sauce was, it, it'll work. 
it'll work. Whatever that sauce will. Oh, excuse me. Whatever, whatever is in that sauce right there. Oh, it, it, it'll work. Oh my gosh. That's that, that right there is right up my alley. That part, this right here is the part that I miss when it comes to when it, when I changed to a keto diet, but that right there is 100% keto right there. Cucumber and crab meat. Um, I would even throw, I would even throw some onion in there with some, um, with some celery, a little bit of a little bit of olive oil. Well, to make the dressing, you're gonna have to use probably some olive oil, some type of olive oil, vinegar, cream mixture, um, salt and pepper, of course. I would I would actually take the cucumber and salt the cucumber first to get some of that liquid out. This right here. I am so glad I saw this. This is on. This is going on the. Re- yeah, yeah. This is going on the repertoire. Oh man, yes, yes. Put in some. Oh yes. It's like it's it's basically see, and that's another thing. Being on keto, I can't have any rice, and I'm not a big rice fan, but I'm a big sushi fan. I love sushi. That right there is my sushi fix. Right there. Put some, oh yes. Put some. Put some um. If I can get some sushi grade um, salmon, oh yeah, that that right there is a winner. That right there, ten out of ten. That right there is a winner. Okay, that this is old school. Okay, onions. I would have put the onions in there first, but it is what it is. Okay. Oh, too much cheese. Too much cheese. Clearly, she's making rotel. She's making a rotel dip. And the beautiful thing, you know, I'm, I might post that on Facebook. Like, how do you make your Rotel dip? Because me, it's for the way I do it, it's the meat. It's, I put the onions. I, put, I cook the onions, then the meat, then the Rotel. And then I slowly put the cheese in and slowly melt the cheese because I want my Rotel dip to be more meaty. Then che then 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 watery and cheesy, so I slowly put the uh, the cheese in. It's too much. It's too much. See, okay. First of all, they clearly mixed that while it was in the oven. They slowly mixed it together while it was in the oven. I can't stand. I can't stand stuff like that. That right there. I mean, I approve. It, it works. It works. It, you know, it works. Okay. Kylie Jenner's viral ramen recipe. Okay, dude. Uh, I don't trust what you're doing right now. And that works. And I was rudely interrupted, but let's try this again. Let's see. I got some rice, put some ice in there. Oh, it's gonna steam the rice. More crab. Like of us. Cucumber. And See, they're making like a sushi bowl, I bet. Oh, they're making homemade sushi. Yeah, homemade sushi. Baked by Melissa. I might need to follow her. What is this? Baby potatoes. Okay. Salt. Boil them, of course. Mayo naze. Sour cream. Dijon mustard. Uh, Must be making some type of potato salad.
Yeah, potato salad. Loaded baked potato salad, something like that. Yeah, I, I, I approve of that. I approve of that. That ain't Southern style, but it works. It works. If you were a potato person, that would work. It's like some type of cheese bomb. Yeah. Okay. Something like that, you got to use your hands. Ain't ain't nothing you got that's going to stir that up the way it needs to be. Okay. This is actually very useful. That's very useful. Because you don't have to coat it, but it had flour in it. But you don't have to coat it in flour, which is a good thing. Okay, looks like some kind of ramen noodle snack thing going on. Yeah, cook the ramen noodle. Cook the ramen noodle. Then we put it in the bowl. There was no need to put that in slow motion, but okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know, the question I think is, when you make ramen noodles, are you... Are you a put the seasoning in the water kind of person or you are you take the noodles out and then put the seasoning on it kind of person? You know, my brother, I, if I remember correctly, my brother was take the noodles out and then put the seasoning on it. I'm, I was I was the lead the put the seasoning in the water kind of person. The Korean vegan those are potatoes. See, this, these are fancy, but it just takes too long. Yeah, you got to put cross sections, cross sections in them. Oh, then you boil them. Oh, he's probably going to bake them. He or she is probably going to bake them. Yeah. Or else you could have just put them in the fryer the way they were, and it would have came out just fine. Warning. What's the warning? It's not going to make it to dessert. That is a lot of ingredients. Okay, yeah, you bake the cake up. So it's like a... What's that Mexican dish? Tres leche. And a baby in the back. Yeah, this is like a tres leche cake. And then it's going to soak up. Yeah, that's got to be sugar. Yeah, she's making whipped cream. All right, then you fall and then put the strawberries on. Yeah, that's simple. At least make a homemade cake. You know, using Duncan Hines, god dang. Let's see. That ham and cheese and Hawaiian rolls and butter. Looks like garlic butter with the cheese, with the more cheese, salt, pepper. Looks like some type of herb. Left You left it in the oven too long, though. You left it in lower, lower, let it cook longer on a lower temperature. More ramen noodle. Okay. Okay, so basically he's making his own ramen noodle sauce. Which ain't nothing wrong with.
See, I like a runny yolk. I would have uh, I would have finished the noodles off and then put the runny yolk. I would have fried the egg and then put the runny yolk on top. That's what I would have did. But that works too. That right there works too. Okay, firming up so you can pull the skin off. Lasagna noodles. Uh, it looks like cream cheese. Or it might be ricotta. Yeah. So salmon, lasagna, roll up thing going on. Oh, he's going to bake it like that. Okay. That'll work to uh, doing too much. All that extra cheese was not necessary. Maybe some Parmesan. Okay, I'm interested because I don't like Brussels sprouts. And so far, this chick this is the same chick that's been doing all the seafood stuff. So I, 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 I'm going to give her a chance. It's clearly kale. So we got Brussels sprouts, kale, spring onion. Okay, ain't nothing wrong with that. That looks like caper. I don't know what the other two things are. Olive oil, garlic, maybe some tahini. Nah. I mean, no, no, no. The initial, the initial dish, whatever that sauce is, and the Brussels sprouts and kale, as that's perfect. The tortillas are, are, are not needed. <laughs> the tortillas are not needed. You were better off baking those than putting them in a skillet like that. But you know, so far I like her little like concoctions: cabbage and cucumber. Chives, garlic, that was garlic, shallot, chives, olive oil, maybe vinegar, walnuts, cashews, spinach, nutritional yeast. That, that looks promising. That looks promising. Oh, no. And that, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I was going to say it looks like some kind of Rice Krispie Tree situation. No, oh, she's using Cinnamon Toast Crunch. <laughs> you son of a... And then, and then topped it with more... either That was either more marshmallow or sugar. And then topped it off with Cinnamon Dust. <laughs> <laughs> this is... This is the, yeah, Cinnamon Toast Crunch treats... Melt butter, then while cooling, melt down white. Oh, that was white chocolate. I got too excited just now. Y'all forgive me. That was awesome. Crab ray gone. Can't go wrong. Cream cheese. The only thing about crab ray gone is I think they add like sugar to it. It's something, because I made homemade crab ragoon, and it, there was something I added to it, and I didn't like, it, it was good, but I didn't like the taste of it. And I was like, yeah, it doesn't really, you know. Yeah. Somebody need to change that oil. Yeah, I don't know. It might have been the oil I used, but, you know, it is what it is. Unnecessary. 
You just you, this 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 ain't nothing but a show off. You just showing off. Oh, we're gonna give them teeth. We're gonna give the face pie crust teeth. <laughs> now, the impressive part of this is if it comes out looking exactly like that. If it comes out looking exactly like that, that's going to be impressive. Ah, uh, okay, okay. I'll give her. I'll give her that one. That was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. All right, that's it for that video. But yeah, man. Like I said, I think it was at the beginning of that video. The freaking um crab situation um the macaroni and cheese i approve that sandwich that sandwich i approve but it is what it is i have gone way too long but i appreciate y'all for watching as much as you could it's your boy billy mac and i'll holla at you next time peace